Well, that's a nice one right there. Woo! That is. That is a PIG hog right there. I mean, look how chunky that fish is right there. I was totally not expecting to get a bite. It's been so cold. Today's going to be a warm day, but it's not warm yet. The water temperature is 43 degrees. And in Texas, that's pretty cold water temperature. Um, but uh, you know what? Apparently, they're biting a little bit better than I thought they would be. And that's a female fish. See how fat she is right there. And uh, the bait I was using, it's just a, it's actually a rattleback jig and it's a, a solid blue. I've taken the skirt off. You can't really buy it in that color. And I buy some blue uh, skirt material. And um, I just, uh, you know, take the old skirt off, put the new skirt on there. And then I'm using a blue Strike King Rage Bug, uh, you know, like a sapphire blue or an emerald blue on there. And sometimes in the wintertime, I like a solid blue jig especially in this dirty water. You know, bass aren't supposed to bite in, in, uh, in cold, muddy water. So I'm a little bit baffled and I, I really expected that fish to be, you know, I expected if I was gonna catch one, it'd be out deeper on a ditch, you know, not flipping cattails. But um, anyway, uh, it is what it is. And you know, you can't, you can't prejudge the bite or how your day's gonna go before you get there. Now you can have some good ideas and plan how it's gonna go, but you really need to let the day develop. And when you hear guys say that, let the fish talk to you, that's exactly what they mean. Um, uh, you know, I've, I've fished some like little offshore drains and that kind of thing and some stumps and uh, some brush piles and I haven't had any bites yet. And then I, I come up here and the first time I pitch in a little, little area of cattails uh, in a foot of water, my jig goes thump. So, just goes to show uh, you've got to let the day develop. You've got to let the fish talk to you and you'll catch some fish.